back at another YouTube studio analytics deep dive into growing small YouTube channel video thing. Welcome. So our game plan for today, we're going to do it a little bit differently. I wanted to add some structure. So we're going to actually base it around some really basic things. So intro, that's where you're watching right now. We've got the channel stats page. That's going to be the spreadsheet. You can see it down in the description below. Then we're going to go through our main overall dashboard, our overall channel analytics. Then we're going to go through the content for both long form and shorts. And then after that, I'm going to go through a few things, things I want to try and change over the next three weeks before we're doing another one of these videos and things that I've learned, anything that's like different, interesting, new, and then some if I want to try something a little bit different. So here we go. We're diving right in the intro done. Kaboom. <laughs> and goodbye. I'm face is gone. Here we go. We're starting off. Welcome to Excel. If you haven't used Excel or Google Sheets or whatever you want to call it, this is it. The, the link is here is down below. So this is where we started on the 29th. 64 subs, not a lot of views, not a lot of watch time. We had this one video that popped off, guitar video from a while ago. Click through it, hi. No shorts, no changes. I didn't, I didn't keep track. We've grown a little bit, then it went up, then it went down, then it went up, then it went down. We had one short pop off with a little bit of watch time. Look what's happened now. We've gone, our subs, we've gone up almost 12%, 11 and a half percent. We're at 77 subs. And I know that if you think about it, 77 subs is not a lot, but that's a lot of people. Thank you for subscribing. If you want to see more content like this, keep doing that. But we also had another short pop up. We've had two or three different shorts have over a thousand views, which is crazy. One of them has over 6,000 views. Watch time is up. Max views, again, we got 6,600. Click through rates at, at 1.7. I think that's pretty be pretty consistent, especially with a lot of shorts. So our views, again, if we continue this trend, subs going up five or 10% every three weeks, our views changes going up 300% every three weeks, the watch time going up, click through rate down a little bit. I think this is, this is pretty good. I'm quite happy with this. We'll keep going. We'll see what happens by the end of the year. This will be a really fun wrap up. If you've noticed, I think I might keep going. You never know. You never know. We'll see what happens. Now, if we jump over here to our main dashboard, you can see we just put a video out this morning. It's got one view. That's fine. These don't really get a lot of views immediately. Typically, what happens is nothing happens within the first day or two. And then the short comes out the day after. So the way I've been putting my videos out, I put a long form full video and then I make a short. That's like a highlight of it. The highlight will not spoil the video. So if you want to go watch the short and then you come back to the full video, you can. So we're going to jump into the analytics here. You can see right off the top, we've got our views, watch time and subs. You can see we had this one crazy short kind of pop off. That's going to be kind of a spike. The subscribers came after that, which is really interesting. This was happening on November 20th and the November 27th. No one subscribed from that first short, but the 27th people kind of came in afterwards. And that's where a lot of the watch time and volume came from. And again, on December, I believe that was the first inscription video. We can see, yeah, you had one card. We had our first inscription video come out here. And then the short for that video came out the next day. If we look at the overall analytics of content, this is what I find the most interesting personally. This is a lot different than I would have expected it to be. New viewers from shorts, 95.5, that makes sense. Returning video viewers watching the long form videos and not the shorts also makes sense. The subscribers are coming from the shorts, which is crazy because the people who watch my shorts bounce. So it's really interesting that people are watching the shorts, subscribing, and then not coming back. Or the people who are coming back are coming back and watching the videos. Most people who are watching my videos are watching both. Most people who are watching the shorts if they're coming back, like no one's only watching my shorts if they come to the channel. Most videos for views for videos 10 to 30 and in the first month, that makes sense to me. Shorts, uh, we'll get that shortly, I think. Let's scroll down. People are coming through the shorts feed, YouTube search, browse, impression, click through rate, watch time, three minute average duration. A lot of people just bounce in the first minute or two or if, like 10, 15 seconds. They're like, this guy's annoying. Some people will stick around for halfway through the video. Some people will stick around for the whole video. It's pretty, pretty common sense. If we look down here, obviously the shorts are getting the most amount of views. Average view duration looks to be about 20 seconds for, for most of the shorts, which is pretty exciting. 100% is crazy. Our longer form videos, seven minutes for the inscription tutorial video. That's pretty insano, in my opinion. Two, three minutes for some of the other ones. 
kind of makes sense. I wouldn't expect this to be more than 10, 20%. So the fact that this is at 18% is pretty high for me. All right, that's it with most of the main statistics here on the back end of the channel. Let's go ahead and look through the content. And so when we're at the content here, you'll notice something really interesting. We've got a bunch of stuff scheduled. It's actually scheduled through January. So I'm going to be out of town, not able to record or edit. And so we have content for you. We've got at least one video a day. Some videos we've got two a day. A lot of inscription, a little bit of balestro. The second thing, YouTube UI change. Videos and shorts are split out. So we can actually just see all of our long form videos here. If you look here, we started inscription, 45 views on that first episode, 36 on the second, 10 on the third, but it only came out this week, five on the fourth. So it's kind of slowing down, but 45 on the first, 10 comments, 36 on the second, four comments. Like people were popping off. The likes are coming in. This had 10 likes almost, nine likes. And so I think Inscription, first of all, very fun. Second of all, people are enjoying watching it. The game is out, it makes sense. YouTube stats didn't really do that well. If we kind of scroll down and compare against some of our older videos from our last YouTube stats, I guess our first two, you can see most of them are between 10 and 20. We had one or two Balestro videos get 30, 40-ish views, but overall this one got 60. I'm pretty pleased with how inscriptions going, both from an entertainment for me perspective and from a YouTube perspective. If we jump over to shorts here, shorts are crazy, first of all. We just had this this short yesterday get 200 views. It's been one day. The day the seventh got a hundred. We've had our first inscription shorts, four thousand views almost, twenty five hundred views. This is what's really driving those videos, I believe. People are watching this and they want to see the full episode. And so these are also getting comments and subscriptions. We'll dive into one of these. That video last time when poker got stressful that popped off, it's at 6,600. I don't really know why or what or how. I have a few theories, but we'll get into that towards the end. But the shorts are what's gonna be driving the actual growth of the channel. Hence, we've got a lot of them. Some days we've doubled up. The day you're watching this on the 17th, you'll have the Mantis Shark short. Go check that out if you're watching right now. It's a very good one. And so let's go into the things I've learned. The first thing is really obvious. Let's compare. We've got one that has 6,000 views, one that has six. I mean, this is FTL. Okay, let's go to one that has 32. Same game, same everything. If we just go to the analytics real quick, this is the two pieces that I believe are the most important. The average view duration is what's gonna be keeping people here. I think this average percentage viewed is very, very critical. The higher this number, YouTube is like, people are watching the whole thing, that's good. If you have someone only watching 15% on average, they're not gonna show it as frequently. So if we compare it against the dream team, average percentage you 33%, people are leaving really quickly. YouTube's not showing that again. And so they kind of batch them out. And if everything's going good, if our view percentage is really high, if it's at 40 or 50%, that's when I start noticing things are getting viewed more. If we check out this latest short, you can see average percentage viewed 35, but towards the beginning, this first few hundred really was a little bit, a little bit more. If we check out these other two that had a lot, 3,800, 66 percentage viewed, that's pretty high as well. This one kind of stair-stepped, I'm not really sure why, but it seems like sometimes they do. Again, 50 percentage of people are watching the video before swiping away, which is good for from a YouTube's perspective. So they'll show it more. Same here, 67%. All the, all the good ones are 50%. The takeaway there is the content needs to be better, <laughs> which is the worst news. And so it's not something that I need to make more or faster or shorter length or anything. It actually just needs to be interesting, <laughs> which is the hardest thing to actually do. So we'll work on it, we'll work on it. That's takeaway number one. The content needs to be interesting. I don't think the comments or subscribers or views really does too, too much. So, so the two things that I've seen, one is the thumbnail needs to be a little bit more interesting and grabby. I'm trying something for inscription. It seems that my face gets better views or better clicks 
unfortunately. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of my dumb face on all the thumbnails here. You can kind of see them as little teasers, teasers, if you want to get some teasers. But I use my same face a few times. So stressful face. We're trying it out. The duck doesn't seem to be doing it good. Maybe we'll have to change out this one. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm investigating. I'm trying a few things out. Shorts doesn't matter. There is no thumbnail. You got to see my dumb face anyways. So the two things for this time I want to try and, well, I've already made all the content. So I've been focusing on making the content what I would consider a little bit more attention grabby from the shorts perspective to try and get people to watch the whole thing and see if we can get, if we can get two or three more 2000 plus view videos over the next three weeks, that's insane. Oh, uh, the second thing we're trying out this new thumbnail. I've tried out a few different colors on the borders. I'm trying adding an episode number to the top. I've tried, I tried out a few different things. We're making things bigger. We're making things smaller. I've added a few new thumbnail faces that I made. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But as of now, that's kind of how it's going. If you like this type of content, go click down below and let me know. If there's something you want to see either in the YouTube analytics videos or in the rest of the channel and you want me to try out either a new game or a new type of content or something different, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. And yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya.